Idea Care cut the ribbon on its newly designed cannabis location in Brooklyn, New York, and we were there to check it out. Tell us why you decided to open this location specifically in Brooklyn. Well, Cannabis for us is a flagship name. Uh, it's going to actually, we think it's going to redefine the cannabis industry. And for us, Brooklyn is the cannabis capital of the East Coast and one of the most important cannabis sort of thought leading city, uh, sort of let's call it sub cities in the, uh, in the country. This location was already open uh, previously, correct? It was. And so now you've redesigned it, right? It's a redesign and it's also an ad addition of a technology stack to help us really understand our consumers better. Can you go into that technology stack? Sure. So uh, cannabis is something either people are very familiar with or not familiar at all. And so what we did is we created a really simplistic tool that ha was basically uh, supported by AI that allows us to help a consumer go through the customer journey and really reaffirm kind of their 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 priorities, their preferences in the context of a product. Um, so it really is a really important informational tool that allows us to understand who it is we serve more effectively, but also develop the right products and make sure we have the right products on our shelves. This has a feel of like a traditional retail brick and mortar experience. It's definitely a very inviting, very warm. Is this in preparation for adult use sales in New York? Was that some of the thought behind the redesign? Well, we're experiencing adult use sales throughout the country. Um, and so this is part of a broader rebrand to make sure that we have relevance for adult use and for medical. Um, so for us, we're still a medical operator in New York State. Uh, the adult use program has been approved and is, is coming. Um, I think that getting out ahead of that was something we thought about. Uh, but it's really part of a broader national strategy to make sure that we were able to be inviting to the largest sort of the, the, the broadest group of consumers out there. If people aren't familiar with Brooklyn, uh, you're right across the street from municipal buildings. Is that kind of uh, ironic in a sense? It is ironic, um, and it, it was intentional, but this is one of the epicenters of Brooklyn. Uh, so the foot traffic, the access to public transportation, uh, the access to people's works and people people's homes, um, that to us was really important to make sure that convenience was something that didn't become an impediment to access. Uh, but it is ironic that the, the courts are right across the street, and uh, there's a probably a fairly sizable uh, law enforcement community right across the street, and we hope to serve them too. So walk me through your thought process behind the design choices you made. I see a lot of really navy blue and green. What in the green wall there um, when you first came in? What, what were some of the thoughts behind this design? Sure. So we knew we wanted to do blue as sort of an homage to Columbia Care. Columbia Care had a very distinctive sort of cyan blue. We knew we didn't want to do that blue. So we went with sort of a darker, I think a, a more elegant sort of execution on the blue. But we wanted the space to feel very inviting. We wanted to bring some warmth into it. So much of the uh, sort of tours that I did early on in the space with dispensaries felt very sterile, very clean. Uh, and I just felt like if you're going to focus on education and you're going to focus on approachability, you almost want it to feel like your, your cool friend's living room a bit. And so that's that was really the inspiration behind a lot of what we did in the build out. I know a lot of dispensaries when they first opened were like, oh, we're going to be the apple of cannabis. But it was, to your point, it felt very sterile and office-like. A little cold. I mean, first of all, it's incredibly flattering to be referred to as the apple of anything, right? They do stuff really well. So I, I totally get it. I think that when we think about service and, you know, overall sort of technology integrations and things like that, that's a, that's a great sort of uh, touchstone to go for is something like Apple. But I think when, when you were thinking about somewhere where people would want to come and congregate and learn more, where you could do product demonstrations, where you could just sit and have a conversation with someone, we, we felt like this aesthetic was just a little bit more comfortable. Dispensary experiences, especially as a first time, can be very intimidating, like almost on the borderline of embarrassing, right? Like if you've, if you've never shopped before, you kind of go through a line and then you end up at a point of sale and it's an expert looking at you going, what do you want, right? And so you just sort of default to whatever the, the guy next to you is ordering or, you know, what you used to smoke in college. And that, that's not good, right? Like we, we wanted to create something where you felt very comfortable interacting with the technology, interacting with the associates who are floating on the floor so that you can ask more questions. You know, the best way to create loyal customers in this industry for the future is to help them find the right products and forms that are going to integrate into their lifestyle that they want to keep coming back for. And I think that as a, as a multi-state operator, as an MSO in this space, that's on us. Like, we, we have to create those architectures to do that. Any, any 
guess on when adult sales will begin in New York State? I hope soon. Um, I hope soon. You know, it's, it, your guess is as good as mine, but the, uh, I, I suspect it'll happen in the next 12 months, maybe, maybe the next 18 months on the tail end. Uh, but the state's taking steps right now to, to usher that forward and to really achieve a lot of the policy goals along, along with sort of the, let's call it the regulatory goals uh, to get that up and running. So we're cautiously optimistic. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report from the Cannabis in Brooklyn.